Hi, welcome back. Uh, before we move on to our asymmetric uh, drawing, uh, let's uh, make ourselves clear what those are about first. So we are about to try these uh, projections. So they are isometric, diametric, and trimetric projection. So isometric, um, if you have a box, this angle is all 30 degree. So inside is all 120 degree. So diametric is much less angle. So here, this is supposed to be 15 degree. And same 15 degree trimetric one side is very low this is 15 degree and the other side is much more angular so that's supposed to be 45 degree so when you are creating the lines there's an accurate way to measure it for instance uh, if you want to make this 30 degree Remember, we cannot use other medium, so this is all we have, clear ruler and this. So what you can do is, let's say that this is the edge of the paper. And what you can do is, let's say this is a paper. And this is the edge. And that's the corner. So what you can do is, if you have a hole, it's going to be helpful. So put it on the center exactly, and then what you can do is put it, on the, uh, and then you create a angular, and then meeting point there. And then what you want to do is create another, find the exact center, put another pencil, and create an angle. Right, and then do you see that? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be meet together there. Right. So I don't have enough space to like maneuver well. All right, what after that you create another line there. All right? Then I'm dropping everything. Right, I let me see that corner. And then you connect that. And then that's supposedly 30 degrees. And then how do you find the 15 degree? So all you have to do is corner to corner measure it. So it's come down to about 1.5. So 7.5 centimeter and then that becomes 15 degree. So how do you find the 45 then another 7.5 degree that you jump up then that's gonna be 45 all together all three 45 degree so this is a really headache each time when you draw since we got only these three items that we have pencil so what do we do uh, just simply what you want to do is just grab a paper and then just go about two inches lower for the 30 degree angle right if it is short always use two and then that way it's almost accurate right and then two inch down and I'm just gonna go fast and then that's going to be 30 degree and 30 degree close enough not exactly but that will do the job so this will be isometric right and the next thing is you just uh, grab a ruler align one side and use the wideness of the ruler and then keep continuing to create the grid right same thing on this side and continuation you will create very accurate uh, 
So make sure that you align well. So if you follow these patterns, then you're going to be creating the isometric uh, grid. And then what if you want to create a uh, 45 degree, then just on the top, go about three inches and then connect. So it's not exactly 45, but that will do the job. Same thing. So in here, remember the two inches? It's a 30 degree, so 15 degree you need to create, right, for the trimetric. And all you have to do is what? Just go half. If you measure, it's about 6.5, so 3.25. And then you just go like that. So if you use these two diagonal lines, and then what happens? That's going to be your trimetric. Okay. I'm going to come over the bound. So rather than having uh, like headache, this is the just the basic that we are learning. So once you become an expert, then get a proper uh, protractor and everything that you can do it uh, accurately. So continuing this, and you will create a uh, trimetric okay so again 45 to 15 and so this is a trimetric and this one again 30 degree 30 degree isometric okay so time uh, diametric you just use these two right Okay.